Hey everybody, this is Ray Barone, and we're going to compare uh, two proportions in this lesson. So, okay, so in a, in a two-sample problem, uh, go ahead and set up this table right here. you got your populations one and two, and your population proportions here, sample sizes, and then your sample proportions over here. Okay, you're going to be doing that. All right, and, you're going to, and that's going to compare the inference, which is the study about uh, uh, the differences between uh, the population proportions, um, uh, the first one minus the second one. And we're going to use uh, the sample proportions of the first one minus the second one to estimate all of this. All right, so here's uh, our formulas coming up, our confidence intervals for comparing two proportions. Uh, when N1 and N2 are large, your sample sizes are large. An approximate uh, level C confidence interval for uh, the difference of your proportions, P1 minus P2, uh, is... Um, Okay, you just do your sample proportions, P1 minus P2, plus or minus your Z-score, so whatever your, your confidence interval is for your Z-score, uh, times your sample error, and your sample error is this formula right here. Okay, and it's more of the same, you guys. It's just, I mean, we've seen them all before, this kind of stuff in here before, but we're going to add them together and square root all that stuff right there, okay? Uh, and then so we can use this when the populations are at least 10 times as large as the samples, and... Uh, the n times p1 and n times its complement, and also n times p2 and n2 times its complement, they're all greater than 5, uh, and that way it'll be uh, nice and accurate so we can use those. So, does preschool help? All right, so we're going to read example 1210 on page 702 to find a 95% confidence interval for the difference of p1 minus p2. Okay, your proportion 1 minus your proportion 2. Uh, uh, the study long-term effects of preschool programs for poor children. The High Scope Educational Research Foundation uh, uh, has, following, has followed two groups of Michigan children since early childhood. One group of 62 attended preschool uh, as three and four-year-olds. This is a sample from population two, uh, poor children who attended preschool. A control group of 61 children from the same area and had similar backgrounds, meaning they're poor, uh, represented population one and the poor children had no preschool so thus the sample sizes are 61 and 62 okay our response variable of interest is the need for social services mainly welfare as an adult in the past 10 years 38 of the preschool sample and 49 of the control sample had needed social services Okay, so we're going to go ahead and set up our population um, uh, chart right here. So my first uh, one is the control group, which is, um, uh, it was uh, um, the no preschool kids. And so 49 of them had uh, needed social services. So here I have 49 over the total 61. So almost or over 80% of them needed social services. And then the, uh, the second group, um, preschool, 38 out of 62. So 61% of those guys needed social services. All right, so uh, we want to describe the study of the effect of preschool on later use of social services to create a 95% confidence interval for the difference of their proportions right there. Okay, and yes, you got to pick your pencils back up. Okay, step two, we're going to conditions. We got to meet the conditions, make sure they're met. So this is the smallest one of the two of these guys right here. Um, n times p1, n1 times 1 minus p. So, so the smallest of all of these uh, four right here is the 61 times the 1 minus um, uh, the, its proportion right there, So, which is 12. And since uh, that's greater than 5, then all the rest of them are going to be greater than 5, so that's going to be accurate. And also, you guys, um, there's at least uh, 10 times as many of each sample size because you had to have a population 10 times as, as each sample size. So there's 61 here. So there's there's way more than that many uh, kids in Michigan right there. Okay, so, um, uh, and we're not too positive that these are sample SRSs, so we may need to draw some caution and proceed with this with caution when you're drawing co your conclusions right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and carry out the procedures right here. Okay, here's my um, uh, sample error uh, right here. So, okay, just plug in the numbers right there and we get uh, 0.801. Okay, and then we're going to plug that into our formula right here. So we get uh, 0.803 minus 0.613, and then, and then your z-score for your 95% um, uh, is uh, uh, 1.960. That's in table table C at the back of the book. Okay, so that cranks out to um, uh, 0.033 to 0.347. So let's go ahead and re interpret those results. So we're 95% confident that the percent needed needing social services is somewhere between 3.4% and 34.7% lower among people who attended preschool. 
Okay, because it's the difference, you guys. So uh, it's lower uh, for the ones who uh, attended preschool. So this confidence interval is wide because the sample sizes are quite small. All right, so this is how you do it in your calculator, you guys. Go ahead and pick your calculators up and, and press stat and then test. And you got to scroll down, down is below everything. So down to B, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 0, and then A and B. So go down to B where it's two uh, proportions Z interval. Enter in these numbers right here. And then uh, your C level is 95%, remember. And then you calculate and you get uh, this interval, which is what we got prior over there, okay, with that formula right there. All right.